All right, guys, so today I made a decision to return this Imperial uh, Star Destroyer. It's Ultimate Collector Series, and uh, we'll see what I get. Come on, check it out. All right, so I'm here at the Lego store, and they have the last grand piano. It's here in stock, so who knows? It's very tempting. Um, they got some good stuff. They got the creator uh, Fiat there. They got the bug. Uh, they got the NASA Apollo 11. Quite a few stuff. They have Pirates uh, Bay over here in the corner. Fossils. Um, they got some Technic here. They didn't have the Lamborghini. Uh, it wasn't in stock. But um, yeah, this is looking really good here. Got some Mindstorms there. Got your Land Rover. Star Wars section here. This is so cool. We got the Death Star once again. Some Minecraft, Monkey Kid. Really cool sets. It's starting to look like a real Lego store now. Look at the Disney section here. We have the uh, Mickey and Minnie Mouse toys. Some Duplo. NES, Nintendo, Mario, a bunch of great stuff here. Got Lego Friends. All right, so uh, just got back from the, uh, actually walking out of the Lego store, I was able to pick up a few sets and I, uh, I'll let you know if I got that piano or not. Stay tuned for more. All right, guys, so it's a new day and I still wanna share the haul with you. However, uh, we're gonna head over to Target and we're gonna see if they have any 501st Battle Pack. All right, so we're approaching the uh, Lego section over here. On the way over here, I found a shirt. Um, good fella. I'm rather large these days, so I got extra large. Here you go. So what do we have here? Hey, see, Bass, you see any battle packs here? No. The inventory is looking low here. Uh, yeah, but these are uh, not the battle packs we're looking for. <laughs> oh, that's what we got right here. Still looking rather barren here, but uh, we got the Avengers Tower here. That's cool. But uh, yeah, it looks like we're gonna miss out today. Got some Lego City sets here. Yeah, that one looks pretty cool. Police station. We got some uh, more Lego here. We can have the head inside. Uh, still selling at retail. see any any clearance we got some Jurassic World there just uh, not looking good you have some speed champions got some overwatch here looks like they have uh, everything pretty much on retail price these days Strange. All right, so uh, we missed out on some uh, 501st battle packs, but they did give me a good uh, tip on when to come. So uh, I'll be picking those up here, hopefully within the next uh, 10 days or so. So uh, give me a, a quick hack on how to get them. So, you know, you're nice to people and then they actually uh, do nice things for you in return. So. I'm looking forward to uh, coming back and getting those 501st Battle Packs. So stay tuned. I'm about to uh, let you guys know what I picked up at the Lego store. All right, guys. So uh, I got back from Target and uh, just with an incredible appetite, I did a great workout, leg workout this morning. So uh, 
I have a huge, huge appetite. So one of my favorite things, or one of the things I enjoy doing the most is grilling here in the backyard. So I'm grilling some salmon here. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a quick bite to eat before I introduce the, uh, the new Lego sets. All right, let's <laughs> see you in a bit. All right, guys, so it actually took me a minute to uh, unload these Lego sets from my car. Actually, I think I, I started the process on a Friday and here we are on a Wednesday and I'm just taking them out of my car so I can share them with you. So uh, before I get onto that, before I get to let you know what I exchanged my uh, Star Destroyer for, um, I wanna share with you something that I just got in the mail here, uh, which reminded me that I actually had some Lego sets in my car. Um, I got this uh, in the mail today. It came uh, from Mercari, uh, which is one of my favorite uh, apps of all time. In fact, I think I'm addicted and I'm gonna just go ahead and delete the app from my phone uh, starting in September. I'm gonna give myself 30 days of not buying anything on Mercari because it truly is very addictive. Uh, especially when you have a passion for Lego and it's great prices there. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this box here real quick. And I wanted to share my purchase with you, which is the Lego Star Wars Cloud, uh, Cloud Rider Swoop Bikes. Um, this has been off Lego store shelves for quite some time. I do believe the Coles had them in stock for a while. Uh, and that was during COVID, but uh, I tried going back in the month of May and they were gone. So I was able to pick this up for $30 um, on Mercari, free shipping. So I, I feel like I really made out in this set. And um, I'm not a huge fan of the solo um, S Star Wars movie, but I do like the characters here. Uh, you got Tobias Beckett, uh, I'm gonna say Enfy's Nest and Wessel. <laughs> Uh, are the characters there but um, they're pretty cool i mainly got it for this minifigure right here i'm a big minifigure fan and uh this one here was the one that i definitely wanted so there goes that set and let's go on to the uh sets that i actually walked into the lego store uh, for so we're gonna go ahead and get started with our first one and uh, actually um I had some interest in buying this for some time, but I just couldn't pull the trigger on it. But uh, after watching David Hall do a live stream of this, I went ahead and uh, purchased it for myself. So um, it's the Flintstones Lego idea set. It has uh, 748 pieces, and I do believe it's set to retire this year. So, you know, I grew up watching these cartoons and uh, I, I just, decided to get it after watching that stream. So it's gonna retire, so I wanted to have uh, this as part of the collection. So here it is. Comes with uh, four minifigures. And uh, the house, and it also has the Flintstone car, which is really cool. It doesn't have Pebbles or Bam Bam or uh, Dino, but it's okay, this will do. Hopefully they'll come up with a second part, but uh, that's going to be part of the uh, backlog, part of the collection there. Moving on to our other set, which is the Fiat 500. This is really nice. This is, uh, brings very special meaning to me. Um, this is a very uh, special car. I really like this car. The first time I went to Italy, uh, the newer Fiat 500s were in the um, everywhere and I wanted one. So I went ahead and purchased it. Uh, a real one and it's been a fun car I get I passed it on to my oldest daughter she's now enjoying it but uh, but now I can enjoy this which is the Slagle creator set um, it has the Coliseum which it's already been announced that this will be coming out hopefully sometime in the fall or early winter I will be buying that set according to I think it's the brick fan this is gonna be the biggest Lego set ever so I'm looking forward to building that I'm actually my youngest daughter, she'll be moving to Italy in a couple of weeks. So I'll definitely have a reminder of her every time I look at this set. So this is very special. So I will be uh, live streaming this here in the near future and I'll be posting a video here soon. All right, we'll check that out. And last but not least, um, this is a very nostalgic uh, set. It's uh, been hyped up here for quite some time and uh, it sold out immediately, but uh, thankfully, uh, Lego produced enough sets. In fact, my local uh, Lego store 
here in La Jolla had 40 sets available of this one. So uh, I was happy about that. It just brings me great memories of when I was 10 years old and I was introduced to Super Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt. And uh, without further ado, I guess you already know what set. I mean, it needs no introduction, but here it is. It is the NES system. And it has, I do believe, geez, how many pieces is this thing? This is kind of heavy. It's about 2,600 pieces. Um, it, it's just, it's great. If you haven't had an opportunity to check out any of the reviews, um, I know David has a, a great review on this and uh, you can check it out. David Hall from Solid Brick Studios. Um, he can give you some input on that. But this is awesome. Look at this. Uh, my favorite all time game on the NES was Mike Tyson's Punch Out. I must have beat that game so many times, but I also must have thrown that remote control several times. I, I couldn't get past um, uh, Super Macho Man or whatever his name was, Macho Man. Uh, he just used to knock me out all the time, but I got the best of him. And then Mike Tyson, I, I beat him several times. So that was awesome. So this is very nostalgic. I may not be opening this. I'm just gonna have it in the box, um, part of the sealed collection. And I just wanna have it. It's like a mint condition box. So um, that's going to be uh, part of the collection, seal collection. So I hope you guys enjoyed um, this video. Sorry it took a while to, to post something. I know it's been a while, uh, but uh, we do have some more great content coming up. In fact, I'm gonna be going over uh, this catalog on our next video, so stay tuned for that. Uh, check out the other videos, uh, including my number one video on my channel uh, is uh, going doing the curbside pickup uh, during COVID at the Lego store. So make sure you check that out. Thanks so much for tuning in. Don't forget to smash that like button, comment and share with your friends. All right, see you next time. And thanks for tuning in to SoCal Bricks.